we got another one from Kit. White people suffer from pathological altruism. I don't know. I think some of our altruism is actually a good thing. It makes us kind of who we are, but you're right. It can be turned against us. What do you think, uh, Greg? Yeah, I do think that the category of pathological altruism opens up a lot of useful analyses here. Um, <clears throat> for instance, there, there's actually a collection of, of essays uh, edited by a woman named, I think her name is Susan Oakley, uh, came out from Oxford University Press on pathological altruism. And it's, it's a really interesting set of studies about how al uh, altruistic behavior uh, or putatively altruistic behavior can actually be very damaging to all the parties involved, including the parties that, um, that are supposedly helped, and actually can be motivated massively by uh, very egoistic self-interest, uh, including uh, you know people basically doping themselves uh, up with self-righteousness. So yeah, th that, that book is filled with useful studies. I do think uh, this uh, this woman has also written a book called I think Cold Hearted Kindness about uh, codependency, and I I found that to be powerful because she talks about this codependent uh, woman who is actually a murderer, uh, and uh, she was also a pet hoarder, and it's fascinating uh, the, the the cat lady the literal pet hoarder phenomenon uh, is a situation where you have people who. Uh, you know, have hundreds of dogs and cats that they can't really take care of. The animals are all miserable and diseased. Some of them are dying. And yet they feel like they are the saviors of these animals. Uh, and what, what's going on is by, by basically uh, imprisoning and uh, torturing all these animals, they feel like they're superior, altruistic, good people. Now, I think a lot of that behavior pattern is going on with the people who say, bring in these immigrants, bring them all in, let them all in. It's, it's a way of, of, of trying to feel good about yourself, feel self-righteous and powerful. You know, and the codependent enabler is a person who thinks they're doing somebody a favor and they feel good about themselves. They feel powerful. But what they're actually doing is enabling a pathological situation that should change to continue. So for instance, if you are in a codependent relationship with an alcoholic, you think that you're being a, a good altruistic person and you feel powerful by helping the, al the, uh, the alcoholic clean up the messes and things like that, but you don't actually help them because you're just enabling them to stay in a bad situation. And you have a deep psychological motive to keep them in that bad situation because it makes you feel powerful and efficacious. And so it's, 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 it's a beautiful example of pathological altruism. Uh, you're not being altruistic at all, but you feel that way. You're just engaged in a kind of ego trip and you're actually hurting the people that you think you're helping. So much of liberal social programs, especially directed towards non-whites, really fit into that model.